What's going on, folks? It's a big week here in college football. Imagine that week 14 and we're talking Iron Bowl. Got my man Cole Kublik here from three man front on Jocks Radio as well as the SEC Network. And Cole, we're going to just keep it simple. We're going to look at the Auburn offense versus the Alabama defense. What does Auburn's offense need to do to expose the Alabama defense that many will argue is not the same Alabama defense that we've seen and have grown accustomed to with the Crimson Tide under Nick Saban? Well, I think the first thing is I would tell you it depends. And the first thing it depends upon is the health of the Alabama defensive line. DJ Dale, Raquan Davis, Christian Barmore, they are a very different group when they're not on the field. And you got evidence of that last week against Western Carolina. You could just see on film, this is not the Alabama defensive line that we're used to. When those three are not playing, they can make up for a lot of it with Terrell Lewis and with Jennings on the edge, but they don't have the same kind of guys once they're in. If those guys aren't in, I think the first thing you have to do you have to do is make Alabama pay and be able to run the ball between the tackles. If they are there, I think you offset them by trying to stretch the defense out. Make them play sideline to sideline, make them run, and then utilize the lack of experience of those Alabama linebackers against them. So you give them a lot of window dressing, whether it's play fakes, whether it's read fakes, whether it's option fakes, as much motion as you can give them, formation changes. And then the big thing that you'll see Gus Malzahn do, no matter what, is he's going to go overload packages. So you're going to see the left tackle lined up as a tight end over to the right. You're going to see those funky formations with an offensive line standing out on the hash with three receivers behind him. The only thing that he's trying to do is steal yards with that, trying to get the defense to miss a line or not line up correctly. And then I think pace and tempo needs to be a pretty big part of this game plan. I think Auburn's better when they go fast. I think they know they want to go fast, but they just haven't been capable of it this season. And if you have a defense that's struggling to get aligned, what's the best thing to do? Don't give them the chance to align. Don't give them the chance to exchange personnel. Go as fast as you can. Try to take as many yards that way. If you get one-on-ones with Seth Williams, which you probably will, continue to take those shots. But I, I want to know who, who's the opposite. Who's the opposite receiver Seth Williams? Somebody's got to step up at some point in time. So I don't know who that guy is going to be. And I don't know what game it's going to be in, but somebody's going to figure out to bracket or double or jam Seth Williams and not allow him to get these opportunities, and then somebody else is going to have to step up. Okay, last question for you. Where does Auburn hold the biggest advantage in this one? The biggest advantage, it can't be the secondary because Alabama's receivers are so good. Uh, it's not on the Auburn offensive line against the Alabama defensive line, even if those players that we mentioned are out because the Auburn offensive line has underperformed a little bit this year. Auburn's not good enough at receiver to even take advantage of some younger members of the secondary. So it may be their front, if healthy, against Bo Nix. But we talked about that health maybe not being that healthy. And if that's not it, it's the Auburn defensive line against the Alabama offensive line. And by the way, this... How many offensive lines won the 10 finalists for the Joe Moore Award, which goes to the nation's best offensive line. So they're still really good. Right. But the Auburn defensive line is that good. They're that much better. Yeah. And I think they're a mismatch against anybody that they're playing. Similar to last year when you saw that great Alabama defensive line led by Quentin Williams going up against the group that won the Joe Moore Award in Oklahoma. And they dominated that group for three and a half quarters. So it's probably going to be the Auburn D-line against the Alabama offensive line. But in reality, with what Terry Lewis is able to do, with what Anthony Jennings is able to do, and if some of the other interior D linemen are back and mostly healthy, I think it's that group against Bo Nix. All right, he's Cole Kubik. Thank you so much for your insight. As always, we appreciate it. And for all your Auburn Tiger updates as we get ready for the Iron Bowl, visit us on AL.com.